Welcome everyone to the JMWE Clash of Champions pre-show. The first, we're live from Orlando, Florida here tonight. And we're kicking off the pre-show with Alex Gemini, the current NXT North American Champion, taking on Isaiah Evans here one-on-one -on -one here tonight, kicking off the Clash of Champions pre-show. These two actually faced each other in the tournament to go after the NXT North American Championship, and they're going to be facing each other again here tonight. I'm actually curious to see who's going to pick up the victory here tonight. We're just going to have to find out and see here tonight. I gotta stop. St I gotta stop saying tonight every single, every fucking five seconds. Well, well. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The match is underway. It's Isaiah Evans taking on Alex Gemini here tonight in the pre-show. And they're making it where they're outside, Just throwing him over his shoulders and impacting into the steel steps. Tonight, it, it, uh, uh, it's the, uh, um, it's, fuck, I forgot what, oh, yes, it's the, uh, it's Pete Corvus taking on Pandorino in a rematch here tonight for the JMWE Championship. Will Pandorino be able to pull it off, or will Pete Corvus retain his title here tonight? We're going to find out in the main event tonight as we're in the, as we're kicking off the pre-show for Clash of Champions here. We're gonna let the NXT stars st shine tonight. Oh, and a flying elbow taking down Isaiah Evans. North American champion just stumping away at, at Isaiah Evans, the Iceman, what he's called. I don't know if he's called, the, I, I don't know. That's what he's called, that's what they're, that's what they announced him as. I whip, very hard I whip to the corner. Gemini going for a suplex. Oh wait, nope. Neck breaker. Neck breaker taking down Isaiah Evans. And I and I gotta say, Isaiah Evans is not looking too not looking too good here tonight. Flyers whip. Back to the corner. A reversal. Drop kick. No. Go for a drop kick. Oh, and a big and a bro kick. Taking down the North American champion. Here's the cover, and a kick out. Just rubbing the face of Alex Gemini, Isaiah Evans, seeking a little bit of revenge after what happened at the tournament a few months ago. Oh, and knee to the groin. So nice that he actually did it twice, which is actually to me is actually not that nice. It's actually kind of painful. Another flying elbow. No, another flying elbow failed to connect. But this time it did. Oh shit! Whip off the ropes. Oh, and an uppercut. Fans here chanting, this is awesome. It actually is awesome as we're live from Orlando, Florida. We are here for the pre-show. I just kicks Isaiah Evans in the chest. He's trying to pick him up. I wonder what he's gonna have gonna have to do here. Another I kind of forgot what that move was called. Is it the flat? I don't think that's a flatliner, is it? Oh, and the wasteland. Wasteland. Followed by... Centon? Centon. Get, yeah, damn it. Comeback tour is about to start. Isaiah Evans all fired up here. Alex Gemini's already in the corner. Taunting Gemini here. He's taunting the North American champion. Oh, kick to the, kick to the stomach. This could be it. No, oh, the kick out at one, almost at one. Oh no. 
Zigzag. Zigzag applied. Backstabber. Isaiah Evans, two moves to the press with one zigzag and a backstabber. Both equally. Backbreaker. Down goes Evans. Oh, reversal. Clothesline. Down goes Alex Gemini. Now, Isaiah Evans on the attack once again. He's got to figure out how to put away a North American champion. Up again. Oh, and Isaiah Evans going for it. Throws him down to the mat. Taking up again. What is he going to go for? Going to throw him into the corner. Going to throw him in the corner like Kermit the Frog. My whole Kermit the Frog here. I am on commentary now. Isaiah Evans got Alex Gemini in the corner. I wonder where he's going for that. No, I, actually, no. I'll stop. I'll stop doing that. Oh, no. I'll just throw him into the corner. To the other corner. He's just going to throw him into the corners. He's not going to do anything. He's just going to stand there and watch him. Oh, no. Flat in a running elbow. I guess Alex Gemini was sick and tired of Isaiah Evans just throwing him into the corners, not doing anything. Another neck breaker. Picks him up again. Pele kick. Just takes him down with authority. Gemini, the NXT North American champion. Trying to damage the bottom the bottom half of the Isaiah Evans' legs. And Evans just rowing himself out of the ring. Oh, and over the over the over the ropes he goes. That was beautifully executed right there. Both men back into the ring. There we go. Gemini's going for that. Oh, ho. That, I kind of forgot. I, I think that's the Project Chompa. I don't know. I'm usually forgetful about the moves. I just don't. I, I kind of forget the moves, but anyways, here's the cover. It looks like Alex Gemini's not done with him yet. Evans, headlock applied. In the headlock. Easy to Alex Gemini's trying to break free. Isaiah Evans is just holding on tight onto that. Oh no. Double under, under his chin suplex. And a cover and a kick out. Oh no. Ax Gemini better watch out. Perfect tens about this perfect tens about the commence. Oh no. Perfect ten. Here's the cover. And a kick out. All going for a roll up. Oh, and Isaiah Evans got him. Pile driver. Oh, he's going to the top. Going for. Oh, and using the knees for protection, just getting out of that move. Project Champa. Here's the cover. 
And the rope break. I knew that was going to happen. Gosh damn rope breaks. Right, I hate to see it. Gotcha. There you go, German Suplex. There's the cover. And a kick out at two. Thank you for joining us as we're just starting out the, fr the pre-show for Class of Champions. We are live from Orlando, Florida. Here's the, here's the cover again. And another kick out at two. Alex Gemini's probably thinking, what do I got to do to put this man away? What do I have to do? I'm pretty sure Isaiah Evans is saying the exact same thing. Oh, and just clotheslines him out of the ring. Isaiah Evans now in control. Alex Gemini thrown out of the ring, and now Evans is going to the top. What's he going for? Oh, and gets out of the way just in time. Gemini just throwing him into the corner. And also tonight, the main event is Pandorino taking on Pete Corvus once again for the JMWE Championship. And then we got the women's champion, Jessica Mendez, defending her women's championship against Lily Loud in a 15 or 20 minute Iron Women match. I have no clue what they have went for yet. Whether it be a 20 minute or a 15 minute or even a 30 minute. Um, Oh, and Isaiah Evans just picks up the victory. I didn't even pay attention. I just, I was just talking about the match card tonight. But anyways, replay's right here if you want to see it. Actually, you're already seeing it, so I'll just shut, I'll just shut up right now. But, oh, wait, I can't. I got to announce the match card tonight. So, yeah, tonight, Pete Corvus will be taking on Pandorino. He will be defending his JMWE Championship against Pandorino. And then Jessica Mendez will be defending her women's championship your winner, against Iceman, Lily Loud. Isaiah Evans. Like I was saying, even though Isaiah Evans is celebrating his victory here tonight, Lily Loud and Jessica Mendez will be defending, will be facing for the women's championship here tonight. Jessica Mendez will defend her women's championship against Lily Loud here tonight in a. The match hasn't been, the match has not been confirmed yet, but. It might be a 15 minute or a 20 minute or a 30 minute Iron Women match. We don't know for sure yet until we figure this out. But anyways, up next is Lazara versus Candice LeRae. Now, Lazara's ha Lazara hasn't been doing too well after her loss against Sochi Lopez at NXT TakeOver Fighter Fest. Knowing that Sochi Lopez just attacked her from behind after she def successfully retained her women's championship, but let's see what happens. Let's let's see who will win this match here tonight. If Lazara gets it, if Lazara has a l little bit of faith in, in her, then she'll probably pick up a victory. I don't know. I just have to find out then. Go. The bell is rung. Here we go. Lazar taking on Candice LeRae, the wife of Johnny Wrestling, Johnny Gargano, who is going to be who's going to be facing Orange Cassidy here tonight in the pre-show. Lazar does a tremendous scoop slam. You see that she's just stomping away at Candice LeRae. Here we go to the corner. Oh, and Candice LeRae just stomping away at Lazara, just going for going on the attack. Leg drop outside of the ring onto the ropes. Just takes her down. Enziguri. It looked like Lazara was about to go for a finisher early. Another scoops. Kick to the back. Bar in control. I'll probably just gonna say this. This is gonna be one quick match. I, I can probably tell. 
There we go. Candice Lorraine's got her. Oh, she takes her down. Reversal. Oh, I just flips her over with a with an elbow drop. Again. Candice Lorraine just stomping away. Elbow drop to Lazara, and Lazara is trying to get back up, but Candice Lorraine just keeps delivering punishment after punishment every single time. Go, oh, Lazar's got it. Going for the roll up. Here's the cover. Candace LeRae picks up the victory with the roll up. Oh, shit. Like I said, it's not looking too good for Lazara here. She's faced loss after loss after loss. After she lost the her chance at the women's championship at NXT Takeover Fighter Fest, I kind of feel bad for her. Here is your winner, Candice LeRae. Candice LeRae just celebrating the tremendous victory. Well, I wouldn't call it tremendous. I would call it surprising that she just rolled her up and picked. Pick up the victory just like that. That's kind of, kind of like rare in, in my eyes. But yeah. Enough. Next, we've got like Heron taking on Kazushko Kata here tonight on N on the N on the NXT. I mean the Clash Champions pre-show. Why am I saying NXT even though it's NXT superstars on the pre-show? But anyways, it's Black Heron versus Okada one on one here tonight. Black Heron still on a little bit, still a little bit of a of a rampage. I see. After he after he lost his chance at the NXT Championship, but now he's gonna be facing a tough opponent of Kazuchika Okada, former end up NJPW World Champion. In New Japan Pro Wrestling. So he better watch out. The Rainmaker is going to bring the pain probably. I don't know. I don't know. I don't predict the future. Here we go. Kata. Black hair on one on one here on the pre-show. And he just pushes him. Black hair on just pushes. Here we go. Wrenching the arm. Black hair on's in control. Kazushka Okada trying to trying to fight his way free. Now he's wrenching the arm of Black Heron. Irish whip. Devastating clothesline, very stiff clothesline to Black from Black Heron to Okada. Here we go. Okada once again on Black Heron going for a Stalin suplex you can see the lay the feet of Okada just wit just moving in the air Probably terrifying just staying in that position for a long time. Black Heron has got him. I'm gonna roll him up. Oh wait, never mind. Not rolling up. I'm. Gosh damn it! Gotta stop stuttering. Oh, just going for the. Don't know what that was though. Here we go, Black Heron once again going for the stone suplex. Once again, Okada's legs are, he must be, he must be terrified to be up there. Being in that position too long, it's, it, all the blood's gonna rush to your head. 
probably pass out. There we go. Oh no. Once again going for the Stalin suplex. Oh, this just makes me uncomfortable just watching this. We just ended this already. Oh, and Okada is going to have the. Oh, and a neck breaker. I hate to be at the end of that Stalin suplex I and mean, just being there in that position for like, I don't for like almost for like either 20 seconds or 30 seconds. That's. Oh, here we go again. Oh. That's actually kind of uncomfortable to 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 watch. Avert your eyes, avert your eyes, boys and girls. Actually, never mind. But still, Black Heron just stomping away at Kazushiko Okada. Oh, and Okada returning the favor. Oh. Stiff punch. Oh, black hair onto the top. Okada's crossbite, no, but it gets out of the way. Back suplex. Roll up, here's the cover. And a kick out at one. And a pop up power bomb just takes down Okada. Oh, it looks like Black Heron's not done with Okada yet. He still wants to inflict more punishment. Drop down. Sleep frog. Drop down. Drop down again. Oh, that didn't help. And now Irish rubs the corner. Oh, and an uppercut. Oh, and got him the submission. The submission applied. Black Heron gets out of the right breaks free and the bro kick. I don't know what the I don't know what the actual move is that they use in like I'm just gonna use like the you know actual superstar names of the moves like the bro kick and all that. Drop kick, oh shit. Oh and a reversal. There we go. Okada's got him. Oh, neck breaker. Rainmaker clothesline. This could be the cover. And a kick out at two. Elbow drop to the leg of Black Heron and, and Okada. On the verge of trying to pick up the victory here against Black Heron. Black Heron's trying to do the same thing. First cover and a kick out. Oh, here we go. Flying devastating moves after another, and here's cover. And a kick out at two. Oh, another kick. There we go, Irish whip. Off the ropes. Arm drag. Arm drag applied, and now reversal by Black Hair. I'm just gonna throw him down onto the mat. Black Heron making his way to the top. Going to the top. He's going to go for something. He's going for the... Oh! 
Going for a dive. But Okada gets out of the way. Neck breaker applied. Rolls himself out of the ring. Kazuchika Okada following him behind. Pop up power bomb. Looks like he's not done with him yet. He's gonna go for for something else. Another pop up power bomb. What's he doing now? What's he doing now? He just decided not to pin him. There we go, Irish will be corner. Okada still in control. Oh, he's just choking. He's choking Black Heron in the corner with there we go alley -oop. Down he goes. Run away. There we go. Oh, and the knee to the face by Okada just Okada, Tombstone Driver. Here's the cover. And a kick out at two. Oh no, looks like Black Hound's not gonna stand a chance. Okada's going for it. He's going for the Rainmaker clothesline. And it connects. This could be a, this could be it. And Okada picks up the victory here. On the priest like Heron. You see Okada celebrating his victory. And what's this? Oh, it looks like Okada's offering a handshake. Good thing too. Uh, Black Heron accepts it. He gladly accepts it. This is what this is good sportsmanship. This is what I like to see with all the superstars. Instead of just fighting and saying, "Oh, I'm better than you." No, I'm better than you. But hey, that's wrestling for you. But this is this is rare right here. Good sportsmanship. Yep, good sportsmanship indeed. And up next, we've got Jurassic Express, Luchasaurus, and Jungle Boy taking on Breezango, the Fashion Police, here tonight on the pre-show. And look, who, and look who's accompanying Jurassic Express. It is none other than Marco Stunt, the other member of Jurassic Express. I feel bad for Breezango, knowing that they didn't get that they don't have a manager that man that to manage them. But hey, they're but hey, they're doing just fine. So I'm not complaining. It looks like Luchasaurus is starting things off here. He's going to be facing Fandango in this tag team match. I don't see Marco stunt. Oh, there he is. He's so short. That's not that's not oh, and, and you can hear the fans here chanting Fandango's theme song as he's just destroying Luchasaurus. Go Irish from the corner. Elbow. Fandango is just delivering punishment to the big guy, the big guy of Jurassic Express. Jurassic Express, former NXT Tag Team Champions. There we go, Luchasaurus. Uh, Luchasaurus doing his part. There we go. 
Just throws Fandango over. There you go. Going for it. DDT. Oh, it's takedown. That's kind of unique. Well, here we go, Luchasaurus, Irish whipping. Fondango to the corner. Going for the tag, Jungle Boy, but not anymore. Fondango gets out of the way. Just throws him to the corner where Tyler Breeze is. Tyler Breeze now tagged in. No. Double, nope. Oh. I don't know what that was, was it an elbow? Double elbow takedown? Now I'm making names up. I don't know why. And you just saw that Tyler Breeze is just making sure his face is not damaged or just got to make sure that he's got to make good selfies with that face. Actually, I think that came out wrong. Ah, damn it. Oh, here we go. Oh, and Luchasaurus. And the knee just takes him down from the back. Luchasaurus got him up. Takes him down. Here's the cover. And a kick out one before the one count. Now Jungle Boy now tagged in. Fun fact I didn't even know about Jungle Boy. He's actually the son of late actor Luke Perry. I did not know that until I, until I figured out by, by one of my friends who actually watches AEW. I did not know that. Yeah, if you want if you want if you want actual if you want to actually know it's on either it's on Wikipedia, I think. I didn't know that. I didn't know that Jungle Boy's dad was Luke, was uh, actor Luke Perry. Kind of sad he passed away. That's sad. And Luchasaurus tagged in once again. Oh, for the kick. oh shit! Kick to the, to the stomach, then a suplex. Here we go Irish whip. Irish whip the corner. Getting out of the way. Luchasaurus getting out of the way. There you go. Throwing him over with a suplex. There you go. Oh. That is, I think that was a shining wizard. I didn't I could I didn't even see it. Do it again. I wasn't looking. Oh, and here we go. Bondongo in trouble. Luchasaurus with a choke slam. This could be the cover. This could be it. And Jurassic Express pick up the victory against Brizongo. You just saw that Tyler Breeze was almost about to make, almost about to break up the pin, but he was too late. You can see the back and forth action between these two teams. I'm surprised Marco stunned even interfering in this match, trying to save his teammates from not getting pinned. Well, that's kind of that's kind of not a problem though. And you know, in that Tyler Breeze trying to save his partner from getting pinned, he was like he was a few seconds late. Let's see if we can see it right here. But right there, he was about to make the he was about to make the break he was about to break up the pin. But he was a little bit too late. And the superstar, the Doom Brigade. An amazing 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 match by the superstar and his teammate, the superstar. <laughs> oh man.
it's Luchasaurus and Jungle Boy, silly. Not the superstar and the superstar. Mm. I know it's I I know it's a joke. I'm gonna have to fix that though. And up next we've got Orange Cassidy, freshly squeezed, taking on Mr. Johnny Wrestling, Johnny Gargano here tonight. On the summer Summer Slam no Summer Slam was a few months was a few weeks ago. What the fuck am I talking about? I'm at Clash of Champions pre show. Gosh damn I'm I must be I must be in the I be I must be living in the past now. Bruh Oh, I am I am hilarious, am I? But anyways, let's start the show. Start start the show. Gosh damn it! <laughs> let's start the match now. I'm sorry. Here we go. Ding ding ding. Here's the bell. Here we go. Oh, and Orange Cassidy with the scoops on the Johnny Gargano. I really gotta stop stuttering. I gotta I gotta stop, dude. I gotta stop. It's kind of hard for me not to not to stutter because you know. Johnny Gargano on the attack. All going for an elbow. Bro, stuttering is stuttering is hard not to not to do. I swear. Fucking. I I'm I'm a fucking dumbass. I'm sorry. <laughs> but anyways, I'll I'll, st I'll I'll do my best not to stutter in this match. The referee just trying to break up the f oh shit, Hurricanrana by Johnny Gargano. Drop kick by Freshly Squeeze. Hi, hey, it's Kermit the Frog again, and here we got Orange Cassidy taking on Johnny Gargano. Back body drop. Okay, I'll stop that again. Johnny Gargano on the attack, going f going for a. Another Hurricanrana to Orange Cassidy. Where's the best friend when you need him? Cover here. And a kick out at one. Oh, takedown. Irish whip for another back body drop. Oh, and Johnny Gargano on on the reversal. Looked like that Orange Cassidy was about to go for the ankle lock. That was a botched move. That was a botched move. I, I, I just saw that. Oh, and Orange Cassidy going for the ankle lock. Johnny Gargano, are you going to tap out? Is he going to tap? Oh, no, and Johnny Gargano breaks free. Johnny Gargano on the attack. Trying to trying to hurt his Orange Cassidy as much as possible. Here we go, another hurt Karana just takes down Freshly Squeeze. Mr. Freshly Squeeze is in trouble. Go to the corner. Snake Eyes just throws him into the corner. Throws him into the turnbuckle post. Turnbu ring post, I'm sorry. Rope break just saves Johnny. Just saves Orange Cassidy. I mean, gosh damn it, I gotta stop. It's hard to start. Do not stutter, but. Cover and a kick out at two. Johnny wrestling, telling the ref to count faster. The ref is just doing his job. You just don't, you can't just tell him what to do, man. Another kick out. Reversal by by Orange Cassidy. Super kick. 
This could be the cover. And a kick out at two. Orange Cassidy thought he had this in the bag. Oh, that was also botched. I just worry about these guys. They always tend to do. They always tend to botch the moves. They always get hurt. We don't want that here. We don't want injuries. We already have one injured superstar. Can't have another one. So this is why we tell you not to do this stuff at home, kids. You're gonna end up hurt. Back body drop. Oh, reversal by Gargano once again. Orange Cassidy reversing Enziguri. Orange Cassidy's come back. Drop kick. Cassidy just fired up. He's about to do. He's about to go on the attack. Johnny Gargano, watch out! He's gonna go for the leg lock. Is Johnny Gargano gonna tap? Is Gargano gonna tap? Is Johnny Wrestling gonna tap? No, oh, and John, Johnny Gargano breaks free of the hold once again. Oh shit! Oh, Nelson slap. Oh, that could be it. And a kick out at two. Gargano's going for it. Here we go. Reversal. Oh, and a big punch to, the, to Johnny Wrestling. Super kick. Here's cover. And freshly squeezed just picks up the victory against Johnny Wrestling. Johnny Wrestling just trying to roll himself out of the ring as Orange Cassidy just picks up the victory. I'm surprised every time I watch matches between Orange Cassidy here. He how does he how does he keep his glasses on? That's what I want to know. The mystery. And you just saw that Johnny Gargano is now busted open. And up next, it's Sochi Lopez taking on Marty Daniels here tonight on the Clash of Champions pre show. We just learned that Sochi Lopez is getting more dangerous every week. Knowing that she wants to be the top women's superstar on the NXT brand. But there are a lot of women's cha women's superstars who really want to be the best. And Marty Daniels is one of them. So she's desperately wanting to face Ochi Lopez. For they fought once. They, they, they want to fight again. And that's what's going on right here. It looks like Sochi Lopez doesn't want anything to do with Marty Daniels as the bell just rung. The match has just started. The referee's now starting his 10 count. And Sochi Lopez is making her, just walking around the ring. Marty Daniels is not far behind her. Trying to. I mean, Sochi Lopez, she doesn't want to fight. She doesn't want anything to do with, uh, with Marty Daniels here. Running away from Marty Daniels. She's just making. Oh. I oh, better watch out. She's about. She was really close. That was a close one. The ref starting his 10 count once again. Two. 
Oh, and Mario Daniel on the attack. Oh, head first onto the LED ring. Onto the LED ring skirt. Oh, and just, just throws her into the ring. Marty Daniels really on the attack. Oh, and Sochi is now going for the jet. Now going for the offense. Here's the cover. And a kick out at one. Back suplex, here's the pin. And a kick out. There goes Sochi Lopez. She's going for the backstabber. Backstabber applied. And a flippy flip is what I call that. Well, it's botched. Why? Oh! Sochi Lopez on the offensive. She is trying to break the arm of Marty Daniels. Marty Daniels is trying her best just to pick the victory up. Sochi Lopez is not letting that happen. Like I said before, Sochi Lopez is getting more dangerous every week. More aggressive, more dangerous. She wants to be the top superstar on the women's division in, on NXT. But she is currently the women's champion. Drop kick. Stomping away at Marty Daniels. Marty Daniels making her way back to the ring. Another backstabber. There we go. Send her up. Dialing up the 619. Down she goes. Here's the cover. And a kick out at two. Another backstabber. I bet Marty Daniels actually actually regrets facing Luchi Lopez here tonight, knowing that what she's gotten herself into. Or maybe not. Here's the cover. And a kick out. Right now Marty Daniels got her up. Got her setting her up where she wants her. Now Sochi Lopez on the attack. She's reversing. Fighting her way, trying to break free. There you go, roll up, here's the roll up, here's the cover. And a kick out. Oh, here. Is that a toss? Or? Oh, here we go, another, another one dialing up to 619. There we go, here's watch out. And here's the cover. And another kick out at two. DDT. Knowing Sochi Lopez, she's got to try. She's got to do her best to pick up a victory here against Marty Daniels, knowing that she's a very dangerous individual. She's a very dangerous person. And also, she's the NXT Women's Champion. So she's got to do her best whenever she wants, whenever she's defending the title, to 
try to do her best not to lose the title. Even though what I just said didn't make sense, but just, just bear with me, all right? Here's the cover. Reversal by Sochi Lopez. Or Karana. Loves to stomp away at her opponent. Is applying damage and punishment. Drop toe hold just takes Sochi Lopez down. Marty Daniels now on the on the attack. Scoop slam going for a reversal. Another backstabber. There he goes, setting her up for the 619. About to dial it up. And it connects. Here we go. Here's the cover. And another kick out at two. Oh, you know the thing, third time's the charm, here we go. Another, uh, here we go again, dialing up to 619. Frog splash, it's covered. Now Sochi Lopez picking up the victory against Marty Daniels here at the Clash of Champions pre-show. Let's take a look at the, the back and forth action. A few 619s by Sochi Lopez didn't even put down Marty Daniels. You just saw that both of these women are trying their best just to pick up the victory. But we all know that the women's champion just put, picked up the victory here tonight. And what's going on now? Oh, she's uh, on the attack again. What's, what's she going for now? What's she doing? Oh, she's got a chair. She's got a chair. What is she going to do with that chair? Oh no, I do not like where this is going. Now she's going to the top. Watch out. Oh! He's not done with that chair. He's not done with that chair though. He's not done with that chair. Oh man. Oh, it looks like she is the oh thank goodness. This Sochi Lopez is trying to break the neck of Marty Daniels with that steel chair. That was actually really that was actually scary. Actually no it wasn't. It was, I hate to be the I hate to be the I had to be at the end of that chair. Knowing that one false move and you could probably break your neck with that chair. Hell no. Mm -mm. That, that would be a few months out of action and with a uh, hospital. Yeah. I don't know what I just said. I have no idea what the fuck I just said. But anyways, we got the NXT champion MJF taking on Tommaso Ciampa here tonight on the, on the main event of the Clash of Champions pre-show. I swear, I didn't know what I, I I don't even know what the fuck I said. But anyways, here's the match, and a German suplex taking down the NXT champion. MJF successfully cashing in his money in the bank briefcase and defeating Maxwell Verdi at NXT Takeover Fighter Fest to win the NXT championship. 
But first, Adam Cole was the winner of the Money in the Bank ladder match by winning the NXT Money in the Bank briefcase. But MJF challenged Adam Cole for the NXT briefcase. You know. And then MJF won the belt. Won Gosh damn it. I gotta stop doing that. I meant the briefcase. So yeah, M MJF beat Adam Cole, went, won the briefcase. Then a few months later, during NXT TakeOver Fighter Fest, he decides to cash in and win his first NXT championship. Oh, what a time to be alive. No, that's not a bad thing. To me, it's a good thing. Because now MGF is going to walk around saying, I'm a better NXT champion than you, and you know it. There you go. Tommaso Ciampa with this suffering that suplex by MJF. Oh, and a kitchen sink just taking Tommaso Ciampa down. MGF just likes to stomp on people. I don't know why. Wink, wink. I don't. I, I'll, I'll shut up now. And the corner. Bruh, this is so sad. Ow. Oh, and now Champa in submission. MGF, you better. You, you should have called to those ropes, you arrogant fucker. I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, bruh. And another kitchen sink is taking that to Muscle Champa. Taking down the black heart of NXT. Muscle Champa, also a former NXT champion. Oh, no. The only one I want to forget is Flip Gordon as NXT champion. I just want to forget that one. No, yeah. I don't even know why we brought him in NXT. But he's not he, but he's not but he's not signed with the company anymore, so that's good. I don't know. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I have no clue. Bruh. Mm -mm. Now MJF on the attack. Tomasa Champa's in trouble. Irish curse backbreaker. Here's the cover. Oh, the neck breaker. Delivering those punches. MJF is going to have a very bruised face after this. And a clothesline, devastating clothesline, taking down the NXT champion. Here's the cover. And a kick out. There we go. Clothesline. MJF. MJF, Tomas Jump is in trouble. Look at that replay. You could have picked the right time to do the replay, but no, you had to play it right there. Damn you, production crew. And a kick out at two. MJF not wasting any time delivering punishment to Tommaso Ciampa. These two are both one's a current and one's a former NXT champion. Which one is it? It is pop quiz time actually. I won't I won't give you a pop quiz. We all know who, who is the former NXT champion. It is Tommaso Ciampa. Current NXT champion is MJF. We don't need to we know we don't need to go to school for that. Not stupid. Wait, way to, way to, way to test my intelligence, Vince McMahon. Okay. Well, I shouldn't be talking about 
Shouldn't be talking about Vince like that. Tommaso Ciampa just punching away at MJF and MJF jawbreaker. Tommaso Ciampa with a reversal. Other reversal, but this time MJF on, on the offensive. DDT. Here's the cover. And a kick out. Irish rip off the ropes. MJF going for the cutter. Beautiful cutter right there by MJF. Wait, I'm wondering, can we do? Can we see that again? Oh, no, oh that's sad. Oh, here we go, Tommaso Ciampa. Boom! White noise. Is it the white noise? I keep forgetting what Sheamus' movesets are. Oh, here we go, Tommaso Ciampa. Oh, a neck breaker. Trying to break the neck of MJF and Tommaso Ciampa's not wasting any time. Close line. MJF got him. Oh, and just takes him out. Here's the cover. And MJF picking up the victory against Ciampa. Here's the replay. Obviously, here's the replay. Here you go. Here is your winner, Max Jacob. And MJF is taunting the crowd after his victory. Oh, and now he's going after Tommaso Ciampa. Oh, looks like a fan just threw a chair into the barrack, into the, into the, into the, into the area. Oh, and just hitting Tommaso Ciampa with that chair. Stop the damn match. Stop the damn, gosh damn it. MJF just a punishing Tommaso Ciampa with that chair. Where are you going? Tommaso Ciampa's this way, idiot. Oh, now he's busted open. Oh no, what's, uh oh, MJF's. Oh, and now he's got him up, got him. Watch out. Well, shit. <laughs> Tommaso Ciampa assaulted by MJF with that steel chair. Make that face at me, MJF. You know what you did, you. Gosh damn it. Well, anyways, thank you for watching the pre show with me. Stay tuned. We're just about to start with, with the actual show here tonight. Stay tuned for that.